Good morning. Somebody was just honking, and I'm like, who are you honking at? Are you honking at me? I don't know. There were some angry people in the parking lot. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm so happy that it's Friday. It's so funny because like this weekend or this week was a short week because of MLK and it feels sometimes like the holiday weeks feel longer which I just don't understand because it was a shorter week so anyway welcome back to my channel I have had a very busy morning um, and I've gotten a lot done in a short amount of time so well I mean you know relatively we I coached two classes this morning got James to school and then worked out and I just ran into Nordstrom rack and picked up some stuff I had to return some stuff from the funeral my it was my grandma's funeral last weekend and I had purchased a couple of dress options and shoe options and um, suits for James anyway I had purchased a couple so I came to Nordstrom rack to return them because you can return Nordstrom at Nordstrom rack and you can also pick up Nordstrom at Nordstrom Rack. So I got the new um, Skims, what is this called? The new Skims um, cotton fleece set. Yeah, I got it in the cherry blossom color, which I love. They originally came out with cherry blossom last year in the boyfriend collection. And I have the uh, long sleeve and short sleeve. I think, oh, and crop tank, I believe as well. So I have a couple boyfriend um, collection items, which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, would actually look cute with, um, I got the sweats and the shorts. So we'll try those on later. I got the sweatshirt, the sweats, and the shorts. And I haven't tried that collection yet. And I think that the cherry blossom color is so cute. It's such a pretty light pink for like spring and summer. So I'm like ready for warm weather now. It's not even that cold. It's 60 degrees, but I'm ready to be like tan and hot and in like shorts and dresses. I'm excited. My lighting's all weird. So anyway, I don't know why there's like a spot, but um, yeah, let's go. I have a couple, one more errand to run and then we'll head home. All right, so I'm just getting ready. Um, I was just about to do my hair because I have to go pick up James in a little bit. Um, both my parents and my in-laws are unavailable and normally they pick up James from school. So it's actually okay, it's Friday. It's not like as busy of a day, so it works out. Um, I actually signed James up for a swim class today. Usually we do swims, swim classes, swim lessons on the weekend, but he has some like makeups available and I figured why not, you know? So I'm just about to do my hair and I wanted to show you because, gosh, when was it? I think it was Halloween. So like a few months ago, a while now actually, I shared about how I went to the dermatologist because I was having like, I don't remember if I said, but I was having issues with eczema. Actually, you can still see here on my chest like, this is eczema. So I, I have um, eczema, I've had it ever since I was little. Anyway, um, around the time, gosh, when did it start? I wanna say in August, I had eczema around my hairline. And basically eczema um, is itchy and it makes your skin like scaly, I guess, for lack of a better term. Anyway, what was happening is I had the eczema, I would like scratch it and Basically, the skin would fall out and then the hair follicle would come out. So I was basically losing hair. If you look back at my old videos, you can see I never really talked about it, but I was losing hair. This has happened before. It's alopecia, alopecia associated with eczema. It's happened to me before in college. Anyway, I went to the doctor and I got a steroid that I was using. So now I have all, it worked, which is great, but I have all these little baby hairs basically all around my uh hairline you can see there um wasn't there a style where people were like doing this so all of this obviously not that but you can see like all these little baby hairs everywhere and it's finally growing in but it was taking a while like this spot right here sorry it's hard to see this spot right here was like the last spot to grow but anyway there's just like hair little hairs everywhere you get the idea so um i was joking like for a little while there like my hair was spiking right here and 
I was telling Josh, I was like, gosh, this looks so funny. So I've been, well, I also have just been putting my hair up just because, like, I don't know, I've just been pulling it back a lot. I usually, like, when I wash it, apply some sort of heat to it. So, like, um, when I wash it, I, I've been washing it twice a week. Usually I do one or two times a week, depending on how much I'm working out. Lately, I've been working out a lot, so I've been washing it um, twice a week. Anyway, when I wash it, I usually do some sort of heat. So this time I just did the Dyson, um, like, brush and that doesn't like totally straighten it it just kind of tames it so that whatever i want to do with it it'll like go in a ponytail or go in a bun but then because i'm working out pretty much every day um i'm sweating and then it's like kind of poofy so whatever all that being said i've just been wearing my hair up a lot just with everything that's happened so that's also why i went back closer to my natural hair color because you could really see the I had like blonde highlights and then you could see all the new growth whereas now it, it blends pretty well um, It looks like I just have a lot of baby hairs, but it's all just new growth. So anyway, I'm just pulling my hair back which Also, I know that if you're trying to like take care of your hair pulling it back in a tight bun is not The best idea I try to wear a claw clip but with like workouts and stuff like that. I just I just pull it back Okay, I'm it's like it's like the lesser of two evils. I'm either going to apply heat or I'm going to pull it back. It's like, which, which is better, honestly. I don't know. So I put it in a ponytail first, and then I wanted to just share the pomade stick that I've really been liking. So I got this one off of Revolve, and obviously there are like other options that are also more affordable, but I got this one, and I just really like it because, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, especially with these baby hairs and stuff which i gotta like move down because the camera's not very high but i can kind of just like go like that do you see can you tell how much of a difference it just makes it so easy and then like i was saying with my hair getting frizzy whether it's because of working out or the weather i have just like flyaways and i can just take it and put it on here i also had one from amazon which oh yeah i do have it here hold on let me grab it ah um, I got this one on Amazon, which I think I have another one in my car and this is just like a hair finisher. I can link this one too. I like this one, but I just personally prefer the pomade more. This one is more like throw in your purse or whatever. I've used this one when I'm filming. If I fly away, so it's like a little, um, mascara one and then you can kind of just, this one is really great for like photos or just like little flyaways on top of your hair I feel like whereas this is a pomade so this is going to like you know it gives you some like residue to work with if that makes sense so like I put this on and then I will usually go through again and just fix the ponytail and then put it up it also helps with all these little baby hairs in the back so I'm gonna just pull these up as well just figured I'd share this with you because this is something that I've been really liking and using a lot also for workouts if you want to do a slip back again I'm not saying it's the healthiest for your hair but if you're avoiding heat and you pull your hair up or you want like more of a you know slick look so I'm just going to brush it through again because of all that pomade and put it in a pony in a bun I also have the like thick bristle brush but I don't need it like super slick i'm more so just trying to tame the flyaways in the frizz but i also have ah, sorry. oh my gosh there's like a little hair tie stuck to it i have ignore the hair but i have this brush and then i also have this conair one so like sometimes i'll just take it and smooth it out i mean i know you guys have seen these but anyway this is getting to be such a long clip but i just wanted to share what I've been doing. Okay, so that's the final slick back bun. All right, so really quickly before I head out, I just got this package in the mail. This is actually from Young Living, and I know some people hate MLMs. We personally like Young Living. We use Young Living. We have for years, but I just wanted to share this because, like I said, we've had and used this for years, but I actually canceled our subscription because the way this works is 
like I think you have to order in order to get like loyalty rewards you have to spend like $50 a month and this is just your sign for 2024 if you're trying to cut back on expenses or whatever like stop the subscriptions that you don't need so we have oils we have a ton of oils we use those weekly if not daily we usually have the diffusers running on the weekend I also have a diffuser in my office at work. Josh has a diffuser in his office at work. We use those when we're in the office. We have one up in our room and one in James's room that we use occasionally, but we have a ton of oils. So I was like buying them every month to keep my subscription active, but I'm like, I don't need them right now. What I did do because I had some points is I grabbed this, which is like their cleaning spray, which we use. It's like you can dilute it. So you just use like a little bit and then put it in a spray bottle with water. And then this will last us like, honestly, gosh, I don't even know the last time I have one half opened under our sink. And so like half gone. So I wanted to get a new one. And then we also use their fruit and veggie wash which is really good i really like it but trader joe's has one too that i'm sure is good so anyway i canceled that subscription for now because the things we have plenty of oils and the things that we use this cleaning spray and the fruit wash we are good on so just wanted to like say this as a reminder friendly reminder because there are just things that we pay for that we're just like oh yeah we we get that like we get that every month and my husband and i were like wait we don't need that. Like, I mean, we have what we need, so let's stop it. So just a little food for thought. Um, I don't know. I figured I would let you know just something that we're doing in 2024 to kind of like cut back and just like analyze like how we're spending our money. Can I please get the three finger combo? Okay, so I know you can barely see me. I just put some lotion on because my hands are so dry. It's crazy. I hate this. Um, I hate how they're just like cracked. It hurts so bad. So I'm in line. You literally can't see me. <laughs> um, at Cane's, Raising Cane's. Um, I have about 10 minutes before I have to get James and I'm like right by his school. So I was gonna grab basically a snack for him and a snack for me because I had a salad for lunch while I was working earlier, but I didn't have any protein on it. It was just like, whatever a mixed green salad it was really good um but i need some protein and james i usually he loves french fries okay i mean don't come at me but um anyway i was getting him some french fries i rarely pick him up so it's kind of fun to like surprise him and treat him when i when i pick him up so i'm getting him some french fries and i'm probably gonna eat the chicken not the healthiest source of protein but protein nonetheless so and also i love their arnold palmer um and it'll be a good little treat while i'm watching him at swim so that's what we're doing and yeah i'm excited to get this food and eat hello Hi, for Danica. yes right, thank you thank you so much you too okay let's go get the baby he's not a baby he's not even a toddler anymore that makes me really sad You got some. You might have got them all. All right, so it's a wild Friday night over here. It's about 8.15. James is playing video games. We only let him play on the weekend, so he gets so excited to play this Lego Star Wars. Yeah. Although he gets kind of frustrated. Okay, I'm exhausted. I got up at 4 a.m. to coach today. And on the days that I get up at 4, by like seven, I'm like really struggling. I used to really start to fade at like three o'clock in the afternoon, and now I've kind of like pushed past that, which is good, I think. Like I, my body's gotten used to it a little bit more, and also, as I've shared on here before, we've been getting up at 5 a.m. every day for the last like 10 days. So getting up at 4 a.m. is not that bad. Um, but even with us getting to bed at 5 a.m., we, or what? Getting up at 5 a.m., we've been trying to get to bed no later than 10. Um, so we, we've been, like, I would say we're asleep by 10. You know, like, we get into bed, whatever, in the 9 o'clock hour. So based on my aura ring, which I'll do an update. I know you've all been asking for it, but based on my aura ring, I've sleep, like, 
about six hours a night, which I know is not great, but we're making this adjustment, and so I'm hoping that we can get that, um, get that closer to seven. Like, I'd rather be getting, obviously, close to seven hours a night rather than six, but we're just, we're working on it. So, um, it's 8.15. I'm, like, trying not to yawn. Sorry. It's 8.15. I'm so tired. Josh just went and picked up Chipotle, and because it's so late, I don't want to eat too much so I actually just got a kids meal I got like the kids tacos so I got chicken with the corn salsa and then the pico so I'm just gonna have my own little tacos and that'll be perfect like just enough for me and I'm working on a video I got behind in this week's videos I just I feel like we're still catching up and I realized that I was talking to Josh the other day or yesterday I don't even know but like my hospital ordeal because first we went to urgent care then the hospital then back to the hospital my whole hospital saga my grandma passing away my grandma's funeral then i didn't even talk about this but my grandpa ended up getting sick at my grandma's funeral and then it was my birthday and all of that has happened in the last less than less than the last month so i think we're just like exhausted emotionally and just drained so I'm just like really tired. Um, so anyway, I'm not trying to complain. I'm just tr explaining kind of where we're at and what's going on. So um, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually really grateful for how everything has gone. So anyway, I just wanted to say that um, I'm tired and we're gonna try and get to bed tonight because we have something exciting in the morning. It's gonna be really fun, I think. I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you, I'll see you probably once the sun rises, cause it's hard to film at like 5 a.m. Not that I would pick up the camera right away, but you know what I mean? Like it's hard to film until the sun's up. So I will see you in the morning. morning happy Saturday it is about eight o'clock and I'm actually about to head in to Lululemon I was just looking for my lip gloss and I don't know where I put it I mean I have my I was looking for my summer Fridays like the regular one I have this one which is the brown sugar which I guess I'll just put on it just has a little bit of color but I did put on a little bit of makeup because after this I'm going home and getting the boys and then on taking them taking James to swim and all that stuff so I just like kind of got ready for the day um so it won't look as weird but I usually don't wear yeah because it's kind of dark I usually don't wear a colored lip gloss for workouts but anyway um so today I'm heading in to or right now I'm about to head into Lululemon we are I'm a member of the sweat collective so I'm an assistant coach right now at f45 and member of the sweat collective at Lululemon why am I not able to fold this I just had a um, some oatmeal and I always bring a little towel in case I spill or something but um, they invited sweat collective members to come and do a yoga class with a local yoga studio at Lululemon like Lululemon is bringing them in so I've got they told us to bring a towel a I brought my f45 towel which I don't know why this is so faded I guess I've had it for a while but I, I don't think like I washed it wrong I'm still looking for that lip gloss by the way um so I am going to go in and do this yoga class I'm very excited um Josh was making fun of me though because I don't own a Lululemon yoga mat I only own an aloe yoga mat and Josh was like you can't take an aloe yoga mat into Lululemon I'm like I don't have another yoga mat I mean I have like 
some other ones from like TJ Maxx and stuff, but those ones I just don't feel like are as good, like as grippy. So I was like, if I'm gonna do yoga, I'm gonna bring my aloe one. He's like, you need a Lulo, and I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I don't, I don't need one. So anyway, we're gonna go in. I'm really not sure what to expect other than I think it's just a yoga class in the store, I think. And then we're gonna get to like shop after if we want while um, the store is still closed. So like we get, you know, but I mean, I was literally just here, so I don't, I think I might get some socks, but like that's it. So anyway, I'm excited to just do this event, something different for me. And it's something that I wasn't able to do before coaching. So it's going to be fun and let's go do it. the car that was a lot of fun I have a couple drinks in my bag I'll show you but I did just get um, a couple pairs or a couple packs of socks these are my favorite socks I wear them honestly well every time I work out almost every day these are the power stride training socks I get them in a size medium and if you've seen any of my Lululemon outfits of the week any of my Instagram stories I always have these on and I've had some of mine for like two years and they're kind of just like, I mean, I wear them a lot. So I think I'm going to get rid of some of them, donate them or something, and then just replace. Um, so I just got two packs of socks, nothing too exciting or crazy, but honestly, I love these. And like I said, I wear them all the time. And the ones that are worn out, they're like not even messed up. They're just like... You know when you put on a new pair of socks or just like anything and you can just feel how much more like support and compression they have when they're new? Like mine have just like stretched out a little and then they're like a little bit bally because obviously of all the because of all the friction and stuff. Um, but like no holes, like no like they don't get they get worn, but they don't get ruined, if that makes sense. So anyway, they're really great. I love them and I just knew that with the new year I wanted to get a few more um, like packs and replace some old ones. So I got that and then they gave us like a bunch of little snacks. They gave us these made good granola minis. I've heard these are really good. So I got the chocolate chip and the mixed berry. Maybe I'll try the chocolate chip on my drive home. And then they also gave us some Wacolom coffees. So I got the double latte. I've never tried this. Um, but it says 120 milligrams of natural caffeine, two shots of espresso. So anyway, um, got that. And then they also gave us, I should have grabbed the second one cause they had a lot left, but I grabbed this liquid death. This one's the mango. They had mango and then one other flavor. I should have grabbed the other flavor as well to try because like I said, they were kind of just like telling us to take whatever we wanted, but let's taste these quick. I've heard so many good things about these. So it says these are um, peanut free, dairy free, wheat and gluten free, tree nut, like free of all these things. I should have just said that. But peanut, dairy, wheat and gluten, sesame, um, tree nuts, egg, soy, fish, and, and shellfish. Honestly, these are really good. I wonder if James would like them because he's a peanut allergy. So I like that. You know, I don't have to worry about them. These are good, though. I might keep, like, a pack in my car. Just for, like, sometimes when you're out and about and you need a snack. I also, in my car, I have this, which I probably need to eat soon. I just always like to keep little things. What's this one? This one is the Truvani, the only bar. Gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based. I love this. I love these bars, too. Um, I'm... I'm on their PR list, which is really cool because they send me like protein and protein bars and all that kind of stuff. So this one, it only has seven grams of protein, but this one is really good. It's mint chocolate. So I have this in my car right now in case I ever need a little snack, but let's go home. We actually have a little bit of time before swim, which is great because I actually need to finish working on a video. So let's get home. Okay, we're in Sprouts and our favorite poppy is the watermelon and they never have it. And look how many there are. But some people think carrots go on carrot trees. How, where do carrots come from? 
underground. Good job. Somebody, somebody. Ready? All right, so it's a little while later on Saturday afternoon. We went to swim. James did a great job. He's been getting lots of time in the pool lately. Um, we have so many makeup classes available. So it's obviously raining. I'm sure you can hear it. We're at Costco getting gas now. Josh is filling up for me, which I feel like I needed like a full, a really, oh my gosh, a pretty full tank. I don't know why lately words are hard i think i'm just tired like i just keep tripping over my words all the time and i'm like what is happening like my it's almost like my brain is moving too fast and my mouth can't keep up anyway um we went to swim and then we went and got starbucks so actually starbucks is doing on the weekends between noon and six buy one get one free so josh's coffee was free it was awesome um and we decided because we were just we're gonna go home and just spend the, really the rest of the weekend at home honestly saturday afternoon and all sunday and i was asking josh what we should do for food and since it's raining and it's gonna be raining all weekend i think i suggested that we do our tomato tomato basil soup with grilled cheese and salad because we haven't had it in a while huh mm. it's been a bit josh has been making josh has made his soup and we've had crock pot meals, but we haven't had the tomato basil soup in a while. So we'll make that tonight and then maybe we won't do a crock pot recipe. I don't know until, well, when would we do it? Cause we'll have enough of this probably for tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe we could meal prep like a chicken for Monday night, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, okay. tomorrow. We got some, um, what do you call it? Like frozen rice at Sprouts and they had fried rice and um, what was the other one cilantro lime mm -hmm. so i told josh i was like oh this would be good with our meal prep if we meal prepped just like chicken and stuff so maybe we'll do that maybe we can just do shredded chicken again or something just to have for the next couple do like days a barbecue chicken yeah maybe we can just get that tomorrow and then have it monday night tuesday night okay i forgot my camera in the car but two quick things i wanted to mention um I was just finishing my video, the house is a mess. We like literally just threw everything down when we got home. But I was just finishing my video because um, I missed, like I didn't really miss an upload, but I didn't upload, I wanted to upload on Wednesday this week and I didn't. So I was just finalizing that. So this video is up now. It is um, like the first couple days of the new year vlog. I vlogged a lot like that first week of January. So I have like a couple vlogs. So anyway, that one's up. I'll link it in the cards and below if you want to check it out. But Josh made a little um, snack plate because we're gonna have the tomato soup like as an early dinner probably. So we got, was it burrata that you put on here? Yeah. Burrata, um, salami, grillos, pickles, which I've been wanting to try. They're so good. They have like a vinegary taste. They're more sour than I expected. It's so good here. Let me just show you and then crackers and hummus Obviously, this is like not the prettiest because I've been like attacking it But and then this hummus from Trader Joe's is so good. So I'm just kind of like snacking as I am Working but also one other thing I wanted to mention I was linking these aloe accolade sweatpants Which if you're new to my channel, I literally live in these like I get home. I put them on right away I have them on all the time and I was just teasing Josh because whenever I'm done with them he takes them like he doesn't mind that they're not fleecy on the inside whereas I love them like cozy and fleecy and after about a year or so of like wearing and washing them all the time they lose that fleecy feeling so then he takes them and then I can buy a new pair anyway I was just linking them for my vlog and they came out with this really pretty like sage green color which would really be like a nice color for spring and summer because I still wear these year round and I asked Josh I was like I know I don't need them but they're really pretty I'll link them below and with you know how like when it's your birthday you get a bunch of birthday coupons I was like let me see if Aloe sent me any like you know 20% off or something because I'm like if they did I might I might get them they're really pretty and I wear them all the time so that's yeah. how I justify. But anyway, I'm gonna have this snack plate and make sure this looks good. 
and kind of hang out. I was just gonna say that I finally posted my TikTok about the 5 a.m. club that we're doing. 5.26 a.m. No. <laughs> Josh, that's, that's Josh just... gets up a little bit later. I get up at 5 a.m. All right, so here goes the dinner prep at this point. Final reveal. It looks good. I didn't realize we made so much. And by we, I mean you. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It comes out like such a different color on camera. Looks more yellow. Josh made the soup. I'm making the grilled cheese. And we're gonna eat dinner now. Ooh. Build the cinnamon a little. much later on Sunday night. We're all just starting to get ready for bed. I was just about to take out my braid. Um, I didn't film that much today and the reason is mainly because I actually wasn't planning to film today at all but then I realized yesterday that I never showed you this skims set and I told you I was going to show you. So originally I was going to run the straightener through my hair just to like tame it and everything for the work week or at least the first half of the work week. But one, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then I took my hair out of a braid um, right before I showered. And I feel like it doesn't look that bad. Um, I had put a little bit of hair oil in it before I braided it. And I feel like it, I even like ran my fingers through it and I'm like, oh, it actually isn't that bad. So with the rain tomorrow, I'm like, why am I gonna bother straightening it? Um, I might just end up wearing it up or I'll probably just end up wearing it up and I might just need to use my um, Whatever the stick that I use the pomade stick, so I feel like it doesn't really look bad um, I'm just putting this hair oil in it now the Colleen Rothschild. I've used this before also I feel like I can always tell at night and on camera like I want to put on more <laughs> tanning drops I feel like with my darker hair now um, I like my face to look a little bit more tan. So anyway, I'm just putting a little bit of oil in. My hair is naturally pretty frizzy, so like the oil even on top shouldn't weigh it down too much. I mean, it looks a little weighed down right now, but by the time I like go to sleep and stuff, it should be fine. So the fact that I can run my fingers through my hair and it's not like too frizzy, I'm like, okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this and just not bother with the heat because we're trying to get our hair healthy and again like I said um I took it out of that braid and I was like pleasantly surprised I'm like okay I can I can work with this this is not this is not bad at all sometimes my hair like when I leave it natural it's just like a frizzy crazy mess so we're gonna go with this I think it looks good um but anyway before I go to bed I I'm trying to get to bed early tonight because we've been doing the 5 a.m. club, we've been getting up at 5 a.m. every day. Today was day 11, and we do it on the weekends as well. Honestly, so far, we are really liking it. Make sure you're following my journey on TikTok. I'm sharing every day, and we're really liking it. Um, we've learned a lot in the first like 10 or so days, but what we're working on now, going into like the second full week, we did like half a week, a full week, and now we're going into week officially like week two, is we really need to work on our nighttime routine because we now can get up at 5 a.m. no problem and like get going. We're, we're good with that, we like it. Um, but getting to bed earlier is hard for us because we're trying to cram a bunch of things in. So we are working on winding down earlier. We're drinking our teas, we're getting in bed, reading our book, all that kind of stuff. So that's like our next goal is to kind of fine tune that nighttime routine because we're okay in the mornings now. We just, we need to get 
better sleep, you know, especially if we're getting up at 5 a.m. every day. We don't ever like get to catch up. So anyway, that's where we are on that. That's why I'm trying to like get to bed soon. But I wanted to show you, so I'm gonna put you here because originally I was gonna show you in the guest room, but it's so dark now that this is honestly probably the best lighting. Let me see. I can turn this on for you. So this is the skim set. Um and I'm wearing a size large in the top and then a size medium in the bottoms. And I would say this top runs a little bit small. This is a large and honestly I could do an extra large. The bottoms are like not the most flattering on the back but they're super comfy. These are a size medium. They have the cinch at the bottom and I really like them. I, Think they're really comfy i have told you this before but i'm the kind of person that if i like something i buy it in multiple colors and i ordered this set in the gray as well but i also have the shorts and i have the shorts in a medium too i like the joggers and i like the shorts i think the shorts are going to be really great in the summer and i also like having a crew neck to pair with shorts i think it's cute and fun in the summer like this crew neck with like some white shorts um and i'm sorry with matching shorts and white sneakers would be so cute i feel like in the summer for like traveling or whatever if it's like a cooler day so this like i said is a large and i ordered it in gray but i ordered an extra large in the gray it's plenty long on the arms but i just feel like it's a little bit like i just prefer a little bit more length i guess here it goes down to just about my hips like my hip bones are right here so it's just about my hip bones so if you like that fit keep in mind this is like one size up or if between sizes i went with my larger size so um i would say the top definitely runs small i was worried that the bottoms were going to run small too but the bottoms are great so true to size in the bottoms um both for the joggers and the shorts but then for the sweatshirt like i said I technically sized up. I usually get larges in my sweatshirts now anyway, like women's sweatshirts if they're unisex and I'll do medium or large, but I just personally prefer more of an oversized fit when it comes to sweatshirts, especially especially crew necks. I love crew necks being like big and cozy. So I'm keeping this large, but I did order, like I said, the gray in an XL for the sweatshirt. There's my hair on here. Um, and a medium for the shorts and joggers. So that is it. I just really wanted to show you this and kind of give you my review. It's super cozy. It's not too heavy of a fleece. Let me see if I can fold it inside out, but it's just like kind of a lightweight cozy fleece. So you're not going to overheat in it, but I recommend, I like it. And I also think this is going to look really cute with like biker shorts in the summer. And then I'll probably just lounge around the house in the sweats. Honestly, if I had to choose, I would probably get the crew neck over like the sweats. I'd probably get the crew neck and the shorts over these joggers um these joggers are great but like when i'm looking at the three items the crew neck the shorts and the joggers the joggers are the ones i'd probably take out first because i have other sweatpants that i love but i really like the crew neck with the short set i think it's really cute so you know if you're trying to decide and i also just think um like a crew neck is super versatile like you could wear it literally year round so that would probably be like the most versatile piece, but then the sweats, the short, the sweat shorts are very cute, comfortable and flattering. And those are going to be really fun for spring and summer. I'm sure I'll wear those on repeat. So those are my thoughts on this little skims set. I think it's really cute. I recommend, and that's going to be it for this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I am trying to vlog more consistently. I hope that you guys like that i hope that you are enjoying these thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go read fourth wing i'm trying to make some progress on that book so stay tuned i'm sure i'll update you in future vlogs but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video